What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Red Hot channel and part four of the Vortec 4200 swapped 240Z that I would like to call the Bamboo Bomber. Now, let's talk what I have been doing to this thing for the last, I don't even know how long, it feels like forever, but I have wanted to make sure I got enough stuff done for you guys to show you uh, what I've done. So. I'm gonna go ahead and go through uh, what I have got on the car, and I'm gonna to try to remember what it is, where I got it from in this video. If I can't remember, even if I remember, I'm going to go ahead and put the links to everything I bought for this car in this the, in this video uh, in the description, so you guys can, if you wanted to go do the exact same thing I've done, you can just go to the links, buy the parts, and put them on yourself. So, let's get after it, here we go. All right. So, as you guys can see, this thing looks like it's dang near completed and done, ready to start up and run. Unfortunately, it's not, but we're getting close, getting very close. So, let's go ahead and start at the beginning, the very front of the car. I have here a, uh, a speed engineering or something like that let me let me check my phone real quick i think i have it up on my phone and nope speed factory it's a speed factory three inch intercooler that i purchased off of ebay uh it works i think this is going to do the job i i see a lot of cars with these things on there um so I, evidently they they work <laughs> uh the reason i went like this most of the time on Datsun cars, uh, guys will go to your basic intercooler. It's got ports on the bottom or the top, and they're both on the bottom and top. And I wanted to go something from the middle to get just better flow. Plus, I didn't want to run like a 90 degree uh, silicone uh, elbow on here. I just don't like them. I think they they uh, they fail, and it's just a problem. And I didn't want to deal with that. And this looked better to me personally um unfortunately i did have to do some cutting and trimming on this car um but uh and, and i will be cleaning this up a lot more later on and i really didn't want to do that cutting at all but uh it just had to do it unfortunately so uh on to the next thing is the radiator uh i believe that i got this thing off of either amazon or uh ebay and this just your basic uh cheap radiator that you can get for these s30 chassis um that i see a lot of guys running so they must be all right um another thing is i will be cutting off this and that to the radiator and putting dash 16 uh and bungs on there and then i will be running uh 16 in line to here and here and then also to there and there i just i feel like it gives it a better look to me plus it's um what's the word better <laughs> i don't know uh but on to the next thing um out of here originally this is actually supposed to be three inch coming out but i went ahead and ran made it go up to a three and a half and the reason i did that is because of the throttle body um but this is all three and a half inch tubing all pie cutted this took me a little bit to do to get it all perfect uh because it is a very tight area and Kind of a weird angle it's it is what it is uh i went ahead and went with the uh, turbo smart race port uh blow off valve for this thing the 50 mil i believe um uh i have honestly never ran anything turbo smart i don't think but i i see a lot of stuff like bigger people running these things and i kind of i kind of wanted to do it they're, they're a little pricey but they work really well um on to the throttle body now this thing is extremely expensive <laughs> but uh it looks awesome and they are really really nice pieces uh this is a icon motion raceworks icon 92 millimeter throttle body uh i wanted to go get away from a drive-by wire i wanted to go drive by cable uh they are a little bit more reliable than a drive-by wire setup so that's why i went that direction and I honestly didn't need to get this expensive 
throttle body, but and I didn't need to go as big as I did. Uh, you can honestly get away with like an 80 mil throttle body and this thing will work just fine. But uh, I just went ahead and did it because it's just cool. I like it. On to the intake. This is a custom alloy welding intake that I had to modify, unfortunately. This is a very, very nice piece here. Um, and I was dreading having to cut this right here, but I had really no choice. It was either build an intake and spend even more time trying to get more stuff done or modify this intake to make it work for me. Now, the issue was uh, that it would come out, it was out to here and it literally, like there was no room to put the throttle body in here. Even if I went to a smaller throttle body, it still wasn't enough room. So I had to go ahead and cut it back here and then I went and got like a 90 millimeter, not 90 millimeter, a 90 degree bend which was a four inch 90 degree bend cast aluminum and i had to get that chopped in half stuck it on here and it worked pretty well it's a little tight i had to massage the fender a little bit but to uh get the uh sensor to fit but it fits it looks great um should do the job for sure uh on to the other side of the car. Um, this air is a Pulsar G42 ball bearing turbo. It's a 73, 75. I actually got this thing off a of marketplace used um, from a guy. The uh, the turbo has honestly got very little miles on it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, that's why I, I've seen it on marketplace, got a really good deal on it, and went ahead and uh, bought it. On to, um, say, the manifold. This is a custom manifold that I made. Now, this thing is not perfect by any means. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And uh, I learned a lot. I learned a lot while I did it. Uh, I probably could have put a little bit more heat into it while I was welding it. Um, but, like I said, this is the first time I've done it. I'm not real good with stainless steel. This is... I'm still learning uh, how to tick. I don't do this as a full-time deal. I just, just, I'm a hobbyist. So it looks all right. It's going to do the job. It shouldn't fail. It's not garbage by any means, but it, it could have been better. Um, uh, I went ahead and went with the uh, Turbo Smart uh, 50 millimeter wastegate on this thing. And the heater's about ready to fire up. Uh, so let's, let's get moving. Um, and then I went ahead and, yeah, ran the exhaust straight up as you can see right here now the reason I went straight up with it is because uh, when I did the floors and I ran the tubes in here um, I didn't think about the fact that I have to run exhaust out here and I didn't put any type of bends or anything like that to get clearance for exhaust to go out so it's just like straight across so unfortunately I can't get like three and a half inch tubing or three inch, maybe three inch, but I really don't want to go clear down to three inch. I feel like it's going to restrict it too much uh, to get maximum performance out of this thing uh, because I'm going to need exhaust in and out of this thing. I need it to flow very, very well because this turbo's honestly probably a little on the big side for this uh, six speed car, but I mean, I might be wrong. It might work really well. Um, so yeah, I had to go out the top which is fine it's gonna be awesome uh, it's gonna make really cool pictures and stuff like that when I'm on the two-step just launching flames out of the hood that's gonna be really cool plus it's gonna sound just nasty so on to the next thing I am in the process of redoing a valve cover right now I've got like three or four of these things I kind of just if I get on marketplace I'll find uh, 4200 stuff I'm gonna be parting something out or I can grab something cheap I'll pick it up so I've got a few of these valve covers so I went ahead and started modifying one now the only thing that's hanging up from the hood shutting on this thing is this right here that is it so I have to shave that off so coming over to here this is what I've been working on okay so here's the valve cover I've been working on on and off uh, as you can see I did shave off this entire side right here uh, the reason I did that because I wanted these sides to match 
I didn't like the one side was raised up. It just looked off to me uh, and I didn't like it. I'm also in the process of shaving off all these mounts and stuff like that off of there. Now on the breather side of this thing where I need to uh, get rid of uh, crank pressure and whatnot, I'll be running a couple motion raceworks breathers on here, uh, which will be, they come out and then they'll have dash 10 off of them. So I'll be able to run one here and one over here. So this should give plenty of flow. Uh, to get uh, crank pressure out uh, on the cap. Now, I went ahead and got a uh, cap off of Amazon. This thing is just a weld bung that you can get. Um, they're actually fairly cheap. So uh, if you ever want to do this, I would get one of these things. I'll see if I can find it in, um, in my cart and then I will put this in the description. Uh, I've also been working on this to trim this down. This is the whole reason really we need to modify the valve cover is because of the oil cap right here. Um, now, I believe I probably got a little excessive on the cutting part of this thing, and I probably could have done a whole lot less here and made it work, uh, but this is the first time I've done this, so I didn't really know what I was doing. I just went and got the cutoff wheel and started chopping it up, and I don't recommend doing that. So, uh, I am trying to get this piece made right here. Uh, I'll get it figured out. I have an idea how I'm gonna do it now. Uh, I just need to do it. Um, so, let's talk what's coming up on the next video. Uh, on the next one, I'm probably gonna go ahead and start doing the floors. I'm gonna put a cardboard template in this thing right now. Uh, these floors are probably gonna, not gonna be done right. <laughs> uh, will they work? Yes, they will work just fine. Will they look great? Probably not. But the work, and I, I'm fine with that. I, I'm not making this a show car by any means. I, this is just a straight, fun, rowdy car. I don't need perfection on this car. So that's that's the, the whole reason I bought this car when it was already modified and it wasn't original by any means. So we'll be doing the floors. Um, also, I got a big old mess back in here. But I do have a fuel cell for this thing, and I'll talk about that later on in another video. Uh, with I have uh, pumps and everything for it. Uh, I just got to get fuel line and uh, the fuel rail for this thing, and should have enough to uh, start putting the ECU and stuff in here and start wiring it up. Um, the cool thing is when I got this motor. The guy I got it off of had the exact same ECU that I uh, have that I'm going to put on this car. So I was able to get the tune from him. So all I got to do is just figure out where the pin outs are and rewire this motor up. And I think firing it up is going to be a piece of cake. I just got to modify a couple things because I, I uh, put a lot larger injectors in this thing than what he had in here. And I also have a larger turbo than he does. And it should just be simple and fire right up. Other than the fact that I'm putting the 08 motor in and that's got a, a different crank trigger and whatnot in there. So I'll have to change that up a little bit, uh, which shouldn't be too hard uh, by any means. But okay, guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, it's kind of a, I got to figure out how to do these videos better for you guys. <laughs> Uh, just describing it's it's all right, but I feel like I need to start working on this thing uh, and videoing it while I'm working on it for you guys uh, because we are getting close to a thousand subscribers and I feel like we need to start putting out some better videos for everybody to watch other than me talk about the car and what I've done to it. I want to start actually making uh, videos while I'm working on it. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get this figured out how to combine the two of video and, and working on stuff but i'm going to go ahead and try for you guys uh, but yeah this is going to do it for this one guys um like and subscribe and follow along this build some more it's going to get crazy once this thing is running this spring it's been into summer when we get really figured out the summer we're going to do some rowdy fun stuff with it and i'm going to try my best not to blow it up multiple times but uh we're going to go ahead and try I'm also, I think what I'm going to go ahead and try to do is I'm going to try to make a couple events this year too. Uh, I think Ice Cream Cruise is probably a, a doable deal for me as long as I don't have it broke by then. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try that one. And I might try 
it's a little bit of a jog for me but uh it's not as much for other people i guess i should say i think it's like a nine hour drive for me or something like that uh, but i might go ahead and try doing the atlas nationals and bringing the dotson with me um i'll have to get some stuff done to it uh like uh axles and suspension a little bit more suspension work in here so i can actually make some passes with it without it breaking anything and doing anything stupid by any means so that's gonna do it guys thanks for watching like subscribe i'll see you guys on the next one